Hello and welcome back to Nier Automata. We just climbed a really long ladder that led us to a doorway that is just completely blocked off. So, uh, you know, kind of a waste of our time, I suppose. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's anywhere you can get off elsewhere. Oh, I guess you could kind of right here. If it will let us. Oh, there we go. This doesn't seem to have really taken us anywhere either. Anywhere else that we can get to? Not really. Hmm. Well, now I'm curious. What if we, uh climb back up the hard way again instead of taking that ladder? Do we end up on the other side of that blocked doorway? Dang it. That hole gets me every time. I mean, I feel like it would have been... Oh. Higher than this even, huh? Yes, okay. I guess there was a spot we could have gotten off the ladder sooner. So, the ladder went even higher? I don't know, I'm at a loss. Maybe that's uh, something that will open up later? Or maybe it is just completely pointless and some sort of joke. I don't know. There from your huh? Alert. Targets are rogue units 22B and 64B, currently designated for detention. Um They've come for us, idiot! Prepare to engage and inform the captain! Uh got it! You're both currently wanted by command for desertion. Disengage and surrender immediately. Shut your trap! That's really rude, guys. Well, I I guess just one of them was being rude. The other one might be fine. Except she's attacking us, which is pretty rude, actually. Ouch. Eh. No, damn it. I'm just trying to use the item. Yeah, go back to where you were. Let's restart. <laughs> Time out. Oh, that was neat. I didn't know I could do that. Ouch. Oh no. No, no, no. The captain is ordering a retreat. Understood. What captain? They got away. Well, that was interesting. All right, where to next? Okay, so that one 
we determined was probably underground, which might get us close to uh, main quest territory. I guess we can check out over here. Quick save is probably a good idea. Not sure why it's so stuttery right now. Sorry about that. Yeah. This feels like the place. Hmm. What am I missing? Kind of a neat view, even though you can't see far. This is another underground section or something like that. Maybe these uh, Yorha Betrayer things have to be done in a particular order. Maybe this is just one place that you could maybe find them. So maybe they will have shown up in the other location that we had checked previously. It's probably worth checking out. my doubts that they'd be hanging out on top of the machine. Hmm. Meteorite. That sounds valuable.
Hmm. What's this up here? Oh, right. The one that we were collecting the plug-in chips for, and is probably actually a deserter, perhaps, from Yorha? Oh man, you really saved my bacon. Uh, I'll take those chips from you now. I think we'll refuse. Huh? Why not? You don't actually suspect me of something, do you? Come on, I need those chips! Before I give you the chips, I need you to answer a question. Do you know anything about a missing Yorha unit in the area? No. You sure? Look, just forget about the chips. See ya. Interesting. No, I'm not gonna give you the chips. Unless it turns out to be actually the only way to complete the quest, then maybe I will. Well, now I'm not sure. Like, what other what other option do we have? I wonder if the uh, this will give us any uh, hints. I mean, the only option it's listing for us is to give the plug-in chips to the resistance member. I have I honestly have no idea whether that's the only way to resolve that quest or whether uh, there's some sort of other option. Um Yeah, I I've, I've got no clue. I guess uh maybe for this particular episode I'll uh not turn in the chips and uh, you guys can just let me know if you would like me to just turn in the chips cash in the quest see what that does for us or if you want to hold off and see if any other opportunities present themselves okay so couldn't find anything there or there We could get a part in the desert. You know, let's swing through the resistance camp. Pick up the quests that are there. And then we can maybe head to the desert. Not exactly certain what the best route is to get to the resistance camp with this giant hole in the ground. Oh, well there you go. The hole does not extend over to this little area. Are these things still friendly? No, they are not. Dodging, huh? I wonder if they've noticed anything. doing great and bit by bit I feel like I'm getting used to this environment yeah you th you figure it was uh, lacking a giant hole in the ground feels better now hmm is something wrong you're from your hut right I don't suppose you'd the thing is I recently came out on the losing end of a scuffle with some machine life forms the battle ended up corrupting a portion of my memory 
which is a serious pain, as I'm sure you can imagine. Take these photographs, for instance. I have no idea when they were taken, or even what they are. I only know that they're... important. Hmm. Looks like a... pond with some palm trees around it. Okay, well I know where that is. <laughs> that waterfall... is that just right outside? I recognize that you're busy, but if you have the time to help me out, I'd appreciate it. Sure. We'll help her recover her memories. Thank you so much. If you find the location shown in any of these photos, please send me the coordinates. Hopefully that will help me recover my missing memories. We'll let you know if we find anything. Thank you. Cool, cool. Let's see. like, uh, same stuff as usual there. Who's this guy? Strange resistance man. Ah, oh, this is amazing. This head is amazing. Put this on and you can see the whole world. Ask me something, anything. I'm omniscient. I'm omnipotent. Fire a question at me. Reading mail is inconvenient. Well, it's true that you can only read mail at access points. Also, you can't send mail directly to other Yorha units. That's to prevent secret information from getting out. Still, there are a lot of androids who use mail because they like how retro it is. Kind of a hipster thing, I guess. Ask me something, anything! Alright. Uh, it's hard to see the 3D map. Ah, that's where satellite information is put into map data. The satellite camera doesn't have very good resolution, so you can't see fine details or tell what's underground. Other androids are also dissatisfied with it. But that's the way it is, I'm afraid. Some choose to walk on their own two feet and discover things for themselves. Hint, hint. You'll just have to get used to it. What's the currency in this world? Basically, we take apart the enemies we destroy and use their reconstructed parts. It's much easier than digging up the iron ourselves. Worth is decided according to weight of the enemy and the value of the parts you obtained. We call that unit G. Huh? What does G stand for? Sorry, that's classified. What's a black box? You're asking me? It's something that you Yorha have inside of you. I'm not that familiar with it. The black box is a fusion reactor installed in all Yorha units. Well, sa I mean, that's something. Sounds like you do have some familiarity. But we resistant folks don't know much about its construction. Apparently, it uses some kind of mysterious material. Say, maybe you'd let me rip it out of you and take it apart for analysis. No? Hey, fair enough. Can't blame a guy for trying. Yeah, that was a little too forward, man. You know, like, uh... Maybe after the third date or something. Everyone's talking about our success. Strange things happen. I wasn't skipping through all that dialogue. That was, uh, automatically going through. Let me try again. Are you, uh... Well, you know what? If you guys want to know what that says, you can pause the video and figure it out for yourself. Oh, we were amazing with those Goliath units. Thank you. War will be over in no time. Oh, I hope so. You know what? We are amazing. Thanks for noticing. Ooh, I'm beat. We're heading right back out once you rest a little. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's have a little rest. And we'll save. And we'll continue. has better stuff at this point. Are these coordinates? It looks like they lead to the desert, but why would he possibly go there? 
Interesting. Been trying to repair transporters, but the enemy keeps breaking them. There's no point in vending machine camouflage anymore. Yeah, I don't think the machines know what a vending machine is. Everyone's been so busy lately. I've been helping with maintenance when I can, but it's pretty tough. Okay, check out the shop. And we don't have, still don't have any of these parts. Okay, if you fuse melee defense plus threes together, you get 15. So we're getting 20% reduction by equipping both of them. We'd only have 15 if we fused them. So, let's keep them separate for now. Drop rate up might be worth uh, fusing, though. Right now it's 10%. Yeah, it'll go to 20 if we fuse them. No reason not to. Anything else to buy here? Well, nothing we can afford. How about here? Okay, it's got some plus one chips now. Max HP up, range defense. Seem pretty decent. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy a range defense plus one, just in case. Could be a time where we might like that. Max HP up as well. I don't know that we'll equip those right away, but, uh, you know, if it makes a difference between us getting one shot and two shot, could be worth it. Alright, we need pyrite for that. Dented plates and titanium alloy for that. Dented sockets. Well, may as well upgrade Virtuous Dignity while we're here. talk to this one? Hi there, Yorha Ace. We're making sure we're equipped to support you to the utmost so you can fight at your best. These ones say anything new? Nope. <laughs> Eavesdrop all you want, it's nothing important. I found some old alcohol when the center of the city ruins was blown off, so I tried a little. It's really good. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> so that goes in here and connects to this. Hmm, why are there so many parts? What are they making, I wonder? Stop with the ladder now. All clear to the right, all clear to the left. We've talked to him before. Alright. Quest. Uh, what to do, what to do. We'll ask him what's wrong. What's wrong? Maybe I can help you out. Say, you're from the bunker, right? Well, turns out I have some packages that need transporting, but I can't get them out of storage. 
One of my superiors was in charge of it, but now I have to do it. And there's so much stuff that I can't possibly move it. She's gonna have my head for this. I gotta get those packages for transport out of there. Think you can get the goods for me? Sure, why not? Great, thanks a million. Marking objects likely to be the targeted packages. I can't get them out like this. Ugh, better make a path first. Alright, it's got a block pushing puzzle. Well, we want that item over there, so let's start by, uh... Doing that. Hmm. Well, oh. I didn't see there was a path over here. This is the kind of exciting gameplay that you watch these videos for, right? I assume we can only push and not pull. Yep. She tries to pull, but they are too heavy. Okay, that should be all of the packages. We've done it! Yeah, sounds like a great idea, Pod. I don't see any reason to stay here. <laughs> you went and found everything? Talk about a lifesaver. You really need to organize your storage area. I could barely walk in there. Seriously, you need to clean that place up. I know, I know. I'll take it up with my superior. Just do it, man. Here's a little something for your trouble. Ooh, evade range up plus three. I mean, evade range isn't like amazing, but I like a plus three. <laughs> and that was some good experience points there. Nice. Can't believe what a pain in the butt supply management is. Alright. Well, I think it's about time to call it a day. Next time, uh... Well, I don't know specifically what we'll be doing next time. But we will find something, I'm certain. You know what? I'm gonna let this episode go long. So, here's the idea. There are various, uh... text entries, things of that nature that we haven't gone into, so you've gotten your full, you know, half hour-ish of uh, actual gameplay, if you want to call it that, with the push block puzzle. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any more quests, any more fighting, anything like that. You're welcome to just uh, leave the video at this point if you like, but if you want to stick around for just looking at some of the the menus, we'll, we're going to read weapon descriptions, things like that, then feel free to stick around. I don't think there's anything new on these. Let's see, we just upgraded the Virtuous Dignity. So the story. The elegant white spear was crafted by a tyrant as a gift for his wife, whose parents he had killed uh, years earlier. She slipped it under the bed they shared. Then later, they used it to run him through 30 times. The spear's second owner was a courageous bandit-fighting mayor. In her later years, her strength faded, until one night, a pack of young thugs surrounded her and took all she had, including her life. Man, this, this spear's got uh, quite the violent story behind it. I don't know. I, I feel like we've already read... Oh, th maybe this is new. Humans fight. Why? Why? Humans love. Why, indeed. Okay, I don't 
pretty sure we've read all of this stuff. How long can I continue to believe in a world laden with deceit and folly? How long, I wonder. Alright, well that's that. Intel. Got unit data. Oh man. I didn't realize these descriptions would be so long. I'm not sure uh, that I actually want to read all of these. I will at least sort of check them off by scrolling through. Pascal, a pacifist machine life form that despises conflict and strives endlessly for peace with humanity. This unit possesses incredible intelligence as well as a deep interest in the history of both humans and machines. Alright, I'll read the special ones. A massive Goliath class machine life form that resembles heavy machinery of old. While it appears to have been constructed solely for its destructive abilities, a closer look at its features tells a different story. While in combat, it comes after foes with a repurposed bucket wheel excavator. Don't know how you would read these. <laughs> a massive Goliath class machine, a uh, life form disguised as a building. I mean, okay, kind of. <laughs> The tremendous amounts of energy running through its body forces the unit to emit a steam in order to stay cool. When attacking, the heat generated from its arms often causes them to become engulfed in flames. Thought to have been produced in limited numbers, multiple units were recently discovered at the abandoned factory, though they were eventually destroyed by black box reactions from 2B and 9S. This unit has achieved an unusual level of evolution among machine lifeforms, as it possesses a strong resemblance to androids. Born naked from a cocoon of machine lifeforms, its movement was initially quite clumsy. It grew rapidly, however, and promptly began learning new methods of attack. This unit has achieved an unusual level of evolution among machine lifeforms. Uh, it first appeared after splitting off from another machine. Oh, the party tank! Found in the ruins of an amusement park, this tank-like Goliath-class machine lifeform has a tread-based system of locomotion that lets it cover all manner of terrain. Appearance-wise, the unit seems to be part of the park itself, right down to its decorative lights and a turret that fires colorful confetti. Strangely enough, it also insists on obeying archaic traffic laws, even going so far as to use turn signals and brake lights. <laughs> A Goliath-class machine lifeform modeled after an opera singer. The unit attacked foes using the repurposed bodies of living androids. Obsessed with a certain other machine lifeform, she put great thought into her appearance, even going so far as to cannibalize her own kind. Alas, such garish decorations only ended up being a spectacular display of poor taste. Her search for beauty was eventually, for beauty eventually led to her demise when she attacked 2B and 9S. Amical machines. Ooh, Father Servo. A machine life form that wears a white belt and pursues the warrior's path. After suffering defeat at the hands of 2B and 9S during training, he shamelessly began to pester them for payment. Despite being equipped with a brown belt and being powered up with new parts, Father Servo was defeated once more. Seeking sympathy, he then solicited 2B and 9S for yet more parts. Alright. That probably concludes the uh, interesting ones here. This one looks so interesting there. Um, right. I don't think... <laughs> Maybe you guys would wish I'd read the tutorials, but uh, I think I've got a decent enough uh, understanding of what's going on. Oh, okay. Well, this is a much easier way to go through the weapon stories, huh? Alright, fishing. The killifish machine. A machine lifeform resembling the killifish. 
Due to its wondrous appearance, some killifish fanatics among Yorhash soldiers have started keeping these creatures as pets to the frustration and confusion of their commanders. Koi Carp Machine It is surmised that this that fish machine lifeforms were created to scare away the real fish mankind used for food. They look very much like the native species, so whoever made them did their job well. Fish machines uh, are also extremely aggressive, which helped deal a huge blow to the ec ecology of aquatic life on Earth. Once they had fulfilled their purpose, all maintenance was stopped, but they still managed to adapt to and thrive in their environments. As a result, Current species are no longer hostile toward androids, and instead concentrate on not dying, much like any other animal. In contrast to land-based machines, however, their data banks are no longer synced, so the evolution of their intelligence has pretty much ground to a halt. Many machine fish have formed symbiotic relationships with natural ones, allowing them to consume the sessile organisms on their bodies, such as moss and barnacles, in exchange for protection. With natural fish performing their maintenance, machine fish now live lives which are, to, as, which are the exact opposite of what they were designed to do. In recent years, new ecologies have been observed as a result of such symbiotic re relationships. Some, for instance, have found colonies in order to protect themselves, have formed colonies in order to protect themselves, leading to increased aquatic life across the planet. Of course, the current ecology is quite different from when mankind still inhabited Earth, but the sheer quantity of fish is sure to be a surprise once they finally return from the moon. However, there are even bigger challenges afoot. With no new fish machines being created, they are predicted to go extinct sometime over the next 150 years. Scientists are greatly interested in what may happen to the original native fish once they lose their mechanical protectors. That's interesting. Oh, gas cylinder. A storage container for fuel used by the resistance. These cylinders are highly explosive, so improperly disposing of them is strictly forbidden. A code engraved on the bottom of the cylinder allows it to be tracked to the owner, who is then promptly punished by Yorha. Well, somebody's perhaps had a bad time due to our fishing trip. Alright, well, I think that concludes all of the uh, extra information that I'm interested in. I think we've got a good enough understanding of the quests. Alright, well... Thanks uh, for those of you who stuck around for this, but, uh, you know, the ones who didn't shouldn't feel bad. Wasn't much happening. I think we will call it a day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!